beautiful, absolute brute. Oh my gosh. You see it right there. We are on Rainy Lake in Northern Minnesota. Actually, I can't even say that because technically it is in Northern Minnesota, but we're on the Canada side um, in Ontario. I've been up here for about a week, guys. Uh, I brought the boat with me. Today, we're gonna make a really big run. I don't think I've ever actually made a run this long just to go catch bass, especially if I wasn't fishing in a tournament. So I probably, maybe when I was in college or something like that, it's possible, uh, maybe Kentucky Lake, but um, this is a freaking haul. So from where we are now to where we're going, it's gonna be about a 25 mile run. Um, and it's gonna be going through some big waters of Rainy Lake. So we have a minimal wind today. Um, I think we're gonna be just fine. We loaded up with fuel yesterday. Guys, this is gonna be a heck of a day. Uh, welcome to another vlog. I'm excited. A uh, Couple things, safety wise. Um, I let people know exactly where I'm gonna be. If I'm not back between one and two o'clock, they're gonna start getting worried and probably send a boat my direction. Uh, this is a huge lake. There's not a lot of cabins on it. You gotta be careful. You have to be careful. Uh, number two, you probably see that I don't typically wear a life jacket when I'm just tooting around. Probably should. My mother probably thinks I should. Actually, I know she knows I should, but it's one of those things that, um, I don't know, English choice. But on a run like today, when there's so many things that can go wrong, definitely gonna be wearing a life jacket, 100%. So, just like that. The main thing today is to catch a fat sack of smallmouth and it come back safe and sound. So, pitter patter, let's get at her. Pockets. Well, 30, no, 41 minutes later. 40 minutes. Uh, but we are here and we have three quarter tank of gas left. Man, I'll tell you what though, I am cold. I underdressed for that run, like majorly. So, all right, let's, uh, let's just figure out if uh, we can't catch brownfish. But this is an absolute bomb. Holy cats, this is exactly why I made the run. Like, and look how tight, like you just barely hooked. Look at that thing. That right there is a straight up tank. Beautiful, absolute brute. Okay, again, this is the setup I got going with the GoPro, so if I don't get something on film, that's what I'm, uh, that's what I'm blaming. But I want to go ahead and point out where I just caught that fish. This is nothing but freaking swamp weedy area. There's some rock between these reeds, but like very little. And I think the misconception is with smallmouth, at least the misconception I had for sure, was like that you got to find rock, 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 rock. From where I'm from in Minnesota, that's absolutely true. Rock, sand, gravel, rock, vines, whatever you want to call them. Um, in Ontario on Rainy Lake, there's so much rock that it's like, that's almost the commonality and like finding these weedy areas is like rare. So I think a lot of times the smaller forage will come and eat back here, especially in the morning. I think that's why that fish was back here. But this is definitely an area where you'd think there'd be absolutely no smallmouth. It's just nothing but cabbage and reeds and pads. But because this is the abnormality, abnormality, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, I think that's the reason he was back here. So. We're gonna keep fishing because I think there's more fish like that. Look at 
that it ate it in its mouth. It even got wrapped up on the side. Just like that. Look at that. Another healthy, thick fish. Just freaking beautiful. This is the new 13 fishing uh, topwater spook. Honestly, I'm not even sure what they ended up calling it. But uh, probably the best walking spook I've ever I've ever used. It's noisy, it's loud. I mean, if you're into that sort of thing. I wish I had the smaller size for smallmouth. This is the bigger size, but yeah, freak America. snap thing on my uh, on my scale so I had to go make shit new and win so far freaking amazing morning like that fish missed a spook and then cast it back a little way to wacky worm at it and it just absolutely smoked it okay I shouldn't say middle of the day, I should say middle of the morning. It is 8.22, but um, I'm moving to the other side of this little bay here. Uh, for the most part, it's been the same kind of thing as this morning. I'm not really afraid anymore to go into these little weedy patches, find a little isolated rock, and go uh, toss that spook there. So I just saw 10 pounds for the biggest three so far, which is good. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna, gonna kinda keep going. I wanna try and catch a fish over four pounds, and I wanna try and catch five fish around that three to four pound range. Um, if I can get over 20 pounds today, I'm pretty ecstatic. But this side of the lake looks promising. I also picked this side of the lake because it's a little calmer right now. And I want to still be able to throw that spook, um, at least for a little while longer, while we got relatively low uh, low light. Even though it's like up there, it's still lower than it's going to be in a couple hours. So I'm going to try and catch a few more smallmouth. Probably going to go back there and throw a jig around in a little bit. But uh, as you can see, there is tons and tons and tons of vegetation. Like way too much vegetation, but we are here, so to the loo. Okay, that did not go according to plan. Um, this side of the lake's got like way too much weeds, like there isn't even like any hard bottom. So I'm gonna head back to the shore that I know has got rock on it. Put just some bait up for the shore. Maybe a little buzz bait or something to try and get the, you know, this whole weedless problem out of here. What? How does that even happen? He just, I thought I hit a rock. That thing was huge. Oh, I wish I could freaking see it. Maybe I could, it'll swirl around on my chatter bit. Unreal, my heart just stopped. I'm like, I'm in like eight foot of water. Oh my goodness. My heart is racing right now. He literally just came up and ate my trolling motor. It's like the side, dude, that thing was, oh, there it is, right there. There it is. Just here. He literally, all of a sudden I see an open jawed freaking muskie, right? Like he, <laughs> I don't even know what to say right now. I, I'm like lost for words. I saw him for a second, I don't know where he is now. Oh my goodness, what a freaking thrill. I've never ever heard of that. Like ever, like ever. He just came up and crushed it. I thought I hit a rock. Like you'll see me lose balance in the video, I'm positive. Whew. All right, back to small fishing, I guess.
There's a sweet cliff like right over there. I have no idea if there's like fish on or what it even looks like, but it's be really cool like fish in front of a cliff. In fact, I might even put the drone up in the air. I did bring it with me. And then I think I'm gonna move. I'm gonna go up to a different part of this lake, uh, go up on these fingers that looks pretty good on a map. I don't know, you don't really know until you see it. Um, the name of the game is just don't crush your lower unit on a rock and uh, try and find more smallmouth. Q, sick, drone B-roll, map. <laughs> done for the day yeah I'm gonna go ahead and say done for the day I've got probably around that 17 18 pound range um, the biggest two were just under four pounds I don't think I actually ever beat one over four pounds um, but uh, yeah it was a lot of fun nice change of pace uh, like I said this area of the lake definitely has more smallmouth it's night and day difference better um, I think I encourage you, anyone who's going to try to fish any lake um, a lot of people think that it's like there's rock everywhere and yes, I think you could probably just go beat the bank on any of the islands, find the best looking rock and catch a few smallmouth. Uh, but I think in it really to put a, a solid bag together, um, you have to do what I had to do and that's probably make a run. Uh, go to one of the arms, one of the creeks, somewhere where there's a little bit more, you know, just stuff going on. There's obviously more areas around this arm or this river or this creek, uh, whatever you want to call it, I guess, um, for them to reproduce. Uh, sand, there's a little bit more calmer water, a little bit more shelves looks more like a lake in Minnesota and then there's just spots of rock and such so I think that's probably one of the reasons why I was able to run a few more fish today um, as always thank you for watching uh, if you have any questions on any of the gear I was using rods reels um, line to lures to jig heads to sizes even just comment below I'll be sure to answer them for you again this has been rainy lake 2019 thanks for watching guys